large number of children on the autism spectrum disorders have severe difficulties learning to communicate. Some children almost never learn to communicate via the usual means, language or um, other forms of what we might call symbolic communication. The, these children are effectively isolated from their parents, their caregivers, their peers, just because they, they can't talk to them. One way to get children started in communication is to teach them to use pictures. So if they want something, they want to take a walk, they, they, they'd like a different dinner uh, or a different uh, dessert, they, uh, they, want, they essentially want, just want to express their most basic needs. If you can teach a child to use a picture to indicate those needs, now, now the child has a, an effective communication medium. One challenge in, in instructional technology for that population in, in education is to teach children that a picture actually represents an object or event in the world. There's a subset of kids with autism, there's, but quite, quite a large number, probably 400,000 nationally, maybe more, and, and worldwide, six or seven, 10 million, something like that, who never really get past the initial stages of instruction. They never learn to relate pictures with objects in the world. We're using some um, fairly high-powered computer hardware and software, which is affordable now in, in the, for the classroom, to try to, to, so, to resolve that problem. One of the things that we do, for example, is to, to take pictures and uh, give the, rotate them so they seem to be three-dimensional. Perhaps a child will, that'll help the child relate those, what appear to be three-dimensional pictures, to, to actual three-dimensional objects. And we hope to have them break through the, the, the two-dimensional or the three-dimensional barrier so that they can, now, now they understand the picture represents something. It's not just something on a computer screen or, or, or a, a card on a table. Um, that's, that particular problem has been recognized by almost all uh, instructional uh, curricula that try to solve this problem, and no one has ever really solved it. The, the failure rate in that particular uh, arena, that particular problem, is about 40%. It's, it, it, it's, it's, there's too many kids are, are effectively, remain effectively isolated from their parents and caregivers and peers. And that's why the, one of the reasons the NIH decided to fund our research. I think of uh, myself and my colleagues as tool makers. What we want to do is we don't want to give the teachers and, and clinicians, speech language pathologists, very complicated instructional procedures. We want to give them something that, that they can buy over the counter with their, that won't cost very much, their education or cl clinical budgets can, uh, can afford it, and it's evidence-based instructional technology at the highest level.